My name is Raisa Kabir. I am a senior in mechanical engineering. I am also the recipient of the Bahaji Family Scholarship. Home means a lot of different things to me. My, I'm a first generation immigrant student. My family moved here in 2010 to the United States. I was 13 at the time. So I was born and raised in Bangladesh. It's a developing country. And a lot of my memories and a lot of my values are because of the reason that I was born and raised there. I started connecting with people from CSC, like Ben Koch, who is the student advisor for College of Science and Engineering Student Board, and Whitney Moore from CSC Career Center. Both of those people have been such great mentors to me. Ben Koch is the reason why I am the president for Science and Engineering Student Board right now. Whitney was my mentor for leadership. Leadership is a six-week or six-day leadership institute. Um, she was my mentor there. I learned so many great things about leadership from her and about how to navigate the industry and how to navigate yourself in the industry as a woman. When I first came to the U or applied to the U, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. The only thing I really knew was at one point in my life, I want to help people directly so that they can go ahead and make those differences that the world needs. Then I took a robotics class for ME, um, completely not knowing what I was going to do with my time here at that time. I think I was a sophomore. When I took that class, what I saw was that just not knowing what this journey was going to entail, but at the same time knowing that I'm going to be learning something new, that made me excited about Mech E. Like, you know, you never know what a problem is going to entail. So you're always curious about a new problem. And I think that's what drives progress, and that's why I picked Mech-E. Mechanical engineering is a really broad field, and it has made me interested in a lot of different things, one of those interests being the med device industry. Especially with the technology now, I think it's really important that we progress and bring innovation to the healthcare field, which I think is the mechanical engineering department at the U and also the med school at the U is doing a really good job, um, you know, collaborating with the industry here, such as uh, companies like Abbott and um, Boston Scientific, collaborating with them and collaborating with doctors and physicians to figure out what needs to happen. I think that's, that's where we need to go. We need to collaborate across different areas of study and um, innovate in the med device industry and that's what that's one of my academic interests is learning more about how to innovate in the med device industry. Currently I'm the president of the College of Science and Engineering student board <clears throat> that in that requires a lot of work and has a lot of responsibilities but those are all responsibilities that I'm very passionate about you know we're the official student government body of CSE having to deal with issues like diversity and inclusivity in CSE and that is something that is very near and dear to my heart you know I believe that diversity drives new ideas and progress so we would love to incorporate that in CSE and in um, you know, in our college and that's what a big part of my project next year is um, diversity and inclusivity in CSE. I do research I have a Europe upcoming Europe is an undergraduate undergraduate research opportunity program I have that coming this fall so I will be doing that and hopefully get some good data and do a poster presentation on that so those really are what I am involved currently here. My favorite class was Fundamental of Thermodynamics with Professor Altikin Aksan from Department of Mechanical Engineering. I took that class second semester of my sophomore year. Professor Aksan is known as one of the hardest professor in the Mechanical Engineering Department. By going to his office hours and focusing on the subject matter I fell in love with thermodynamics. I love it so much. It continuously challenges me. It makes me excited about what I study and there's always something new that I learn. That's what I love about thermo is that it was so challenging. But um, Professor Aksan was one of those people who told me that I have the power to accomplish anything that I want to accomplish. I just have to be willing to work hard and then it's all up to me and not just chance. Being part of the College of Science and Engineering Student Board actually has been the most helpful to me because as being a part of that, I have gotten to know our associate and assistant dean, Paul Strakowski and Susan Kubitschek. Those are some wonderful people 
to know. They're always super helpful. Anytime I feel like I can't do this, this is too hard, Paul always tells me we are gonna get through it. Also, my board members, we are all from different majors, but we all work hard for being involved on, in student groups and managing academic life and doing research. So we all have a lot of different things on our plate, but we all support each other and that has been the most helpful to me. I hope to solve one of the world's biggest problems, which is healthcare access to people in the developing country. It's kind of shocking and surprising at the same time that people don't have basic people don't have access to basic needs such as healthcare and as an engineer and as having that background of how to solve problems i would like to take a i would like to take part in contributing to solving that problem of healthcare access to people who need it the most i hope to apply to medical schools right after graduation and at the same time um, working in the industry as i prepare myself for med school this engineering degree that I'm getting is helping me to learn how to problem solve, how to approach a problem and solve a problem efficiently. That would help me as a global physician to help people of the world and help to solve the problem of access to healthcare. It's still a problem that the world leaders are trying to solve. I hope to be a part of that solution one day, you know, use my engineering background to solve that problem and being a global physician directly help people getting their access to healthcare. My parents have sacrificed their career for me so that I can get a better education, so that I can be a better position than them. It would be my honor to help them throughout their old age and throughout their life and be that help to them that they have been for me throughout my whole entire life and be the support that they have been to me. When I started college, it was all very scary because we didn't know how we were going to finance it. But my parents moved here because they wanted me to have a better education. They left their very successful careers, their families, their life, and they moved in a new country and started all over again just so that me and my brother can have a better life and a better education. But when they came here, knowing that whether they would be able to support me through my education was uncertain. The Vahadri scholarship has meant that I don't have to worry about my financial situation. It has enabled me to be a part of student groups on campus, to be, in, to be involved in science and engineering student board, and to focus on my academic career. I could focus entirely on my education and on my student group involvement and my leadership skills. With all the Vahaji scholarship, I wouldn't have been able to, I wouldn't have been able to be fortunate enough to participate in all these different things and today to be the president of College of Science and Engineering Student Board. I wouldn't have been able to just think about my research and do Europe. I would just be a student who came to school and went back to work and that's it. And you know, I, I was fortunate enough that I didn't have to do that. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to focus on my education, my career and my leadership skills instead of worrying about money. This also made my parents very thankful because that meant that they didn't have to worry about my education, I know how it can, how scholarships has an effect to change a student's life. And someday in the future, I would love to do the same thing to another student. I would like to make a scholarship so that they can focus on education and leadership skills, which is really important. I just want to thank you, Mr. Vahaji and the Vahaji family for creating this scholarship for students like me, because the scholarship has meant that I don't have to worry about financial I don't have to worry about money and I could focus on my education and obtaining leadership skills being, by being part of different student groups. So I really want to thank you for that.